what is going on guys grave here welcome back to call of duty modern warfare and today i want to do an updated best class setup for the m4 in this video i'm going to show you two multiplayer classes and two warzone classes so let's go ahead and hop right into it the very first class i'm going to show you is pretty much my go-to m4 class over the last month or so now you can change the perks up the lethals up the tacticals up the secondary up whatever you prefer to run here I really like this class in Ground War, so let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, the perks are Cold-Blooded, Ghost, and Tracker. Lethal and Tactical, usually multiplayer, these never change. I always run a Simtex and a Stem Shot. And Pistol, I prefer to run the M19. Uh, I'll show you what I got on this. It's a Monolithic, the XRKL Super, the 1 milliwatt Laser, the Cronin Mini Reflex, and the perk Fully Loaded. I really like this when I'm trying to run around, maybe in Hardcore, uh, get some of the camos for my pistol. This class setup works very well, and it also works very well in just regular core multiplayer also. So if you're looking for a cool pistol setup for that uh, particular pistol, I really like that setup personally. And let's go ahead and get into the M4 class itself. The first thing I'm going to go with is the monolithic suppressor, which gives you sound suppression and damage range as the pros. Of course, the cons are aim down sight and walk, uh, aim walking steadiness. I'm going to go with the M16 Grenadier Barrel, which is going to give you damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, but at the cost of aim down sight speed and movement speed. How we're going to fix this is with the stock. We're going to run the no stock attachment, which gives us movement speed and aim down sight speed, but the cons, of course, are aiming stability and recoil control. This is going to bring the mobility way up. If you had something else on, let's say like the M16 stock, you can see how the mobility is way down because of this barrel and the suppressor. These two really slow your ADS down, really slow your movement speed down. So to kind of counteract that, we're going to use this no stock attachment. If you're not a fan whatsoever of the no stock attachment, you always can take a look at the Syngard Arms Invader, which gives you aim walking movement speed, which is pretty handy. But I think this aim down sight speed and movement speed of the no stock is almost a must if you're going to run some slower things on the M4. The next thing we're going to go with to kind of speed this up is the stippled grip tape, which is going to give us aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed with the con of aiming stability. And last but not least, the commando foregrip, which is one of the best foregrips to run if you're trying to make a faster class because it only has one con of movement speed and pros of recoil stabilization and aiming stability. If you're not a fan of the suppressor, you always can go with the compensator, which gives you recoil control cons of aim down sight speed and aiming stability if you run the compensator make sure you have the commando foregrip on because these two paired together is some of the best recoil stabilization and recoil control you can have in the game on the m4 you also can go with something a little bit different here if you do not particularly like the stippled grip tape or maybe you just want more ammo you can also go with the 50 round mag here instead of the stiffled grip tape. But just realize you are going to lose that ADS speed. So that's why I stick with the stiffled grip tape. In ground war, there's tons of ammo crates around. You can carry your own ammo crate with you. So the 30 round mag really doesn't bother me that much. Now when it comes to the next class I'm going to show you, this is more of what I run in team deathmatch. This is where you're not going to have the ammo resources that you would maybe in something like ground war. This class is going to be the same setup with the pistol, same setup with the lethal and tacticals. Perks, of course, if I'm playing Team Deathmatch, EOD, Ghost, and Tracker is what I prefer to use. And when it comes to the weapon itself, I go with the Monolithic Suppressor once again and the M16 Grenadier Barrel. You always could go with the uh, Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel, which is the same exact pros and cons of bullet range or bullet velocity damage range, recoil control, aim down sight speed, and movement speed cons. The only difference in these two barrels is the M16 Grenadier barrel has about two more meters of its max damage before it drops off. So that is why I prefer to use the Grenadier barrel. When it comes to the rest of the attachments, of course, this time we're not going to go with the no stock attachment. We're going to run the stippled grip tape once again, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed. We're going to run the 50 round mag and the Ranger foregrip. The Ranger foregrip gives us a recoil control, aiming stability, but the cons are aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. As you can see, the mobility bar on this particular setup is a little bit slower. So you're not going to be able to just sprint around the map and beat a lot of people up close and be able to beat them. You know, if you're running up on them, you're not going to be able to ADS as quickly as you did with that other class. This is more of a kind of uh, move around the map a little bit slower. Not necessarily, you don't have to camp with it, but you'll be able to pick people off at long ranges. You have good control, good accuracy, and really good range with the setup. A lot of people may not like running iron sights i really like the iron sights in the m4 you always could drop the stiffle grip tape or the mags itself and run like a chrono mini reflex a gi mini reflex whatever you like 
But if you like the iron sights on the M4, this is a very good class to just pretty much uh, destroy people at mid to long ranges as long as you are ads and ready for them. If you're running up on people and like to run around the map, I would definitely recommend the very first class that I showed you. The next two classes are going to be for Warzone. Uh, I did make a video a few days ago talking about the best class setups for Warzone. I've changed these M4 classes up just a bit. I've been uh, kind of messing with a lot of stuff over the last few days. Of course, I don't think anybody knows exactly what the best setup is for your loadout just yet. But the first class I'm going to show you is a little bit of a, kind of a speed style class. Same pistol as I showed you in my multiplayer setups. Same lethal, same tactical. You always could go with anything here. Uh, stem, heartbeat, smoke, stun, flash, whatever you like. When it comes to perks, cold-blooded, I hate being sniped by infrareds or ARs or anybody that's running an infrared. So I like to run cold blooded a lot of times. Uh, Ghost and battle hardened is what I like to use with this particular setup. That way, if you get down to the small kind of circle at the end, battle hardened is a big help because of those flashes and stuns. When it comes to the class itself, monolithic suppressor, uh, the M16 grenadier barrel. I'm running the TAC laser on this. Even though the con is as visible to enemies, there's no other issues with this. It doesn't slow anything down. It only really speeds things up. It gives you aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. A lot of people prefer to run something like sleight of hand uh, instead of, you know, the tack laser. But I would recommend if you're running sleight of hand, try the tack laser out. It works very well in my opinion. The 50 round mag, because we are in war zone, we are in battle royale, there is more armor than there is in multiplayer. People have more health. I think the 50 round mag is almost a must because of the extra bullets you're having to put into people. And of course, last but not least, the commando foregrip. The next class I'm gonna show you for Warzone would technically be a class that I would not run Ghost on here. I would run something like Overkill. But since we're just talking about the M4, you can kind of slot whatever you would like in this secondary slot. Once again, lethal tacticals are the same. Cold-blooded, and if you're gonna run Overkill, I would re really recommend Amped for your third perk. That way you can swap weapons faster. This class has been my go-to class over the last few days that I have played Warzone, Monolithic Suppressor, Grenadier Barrel, Ranger Foregrip, which is going to give us recoil control, aiming stability, but cons of aim down sight, and aim walking movement speed. We're going to go with the 60 round mag in this one, right? that way we can dump a lot more ammo into enemies, and last but not least, the fully loaded perk, which is going to give us max starting ammo. That is one issue, in my opinion, when you first start out with your loadouts, or if you die, you're not been, you're not been able to pick up a lot of ammo after you died. You find a loadout, you have enough cash to call one in. If you have this fully loaded perk on, you don't have to worry about looting ammo. You can worry about getting into more gunfights. This class is very slow, as you can see on the mobility bar, but it is absolute laser at all ranges. This thing can destroy anybody from close range to long range, but just keep in mind, you don't have anything that's going to give you really fast ADS up close or, you know, ADS from sprinting. So in my opinion, in Warzone, you don't really have to worry about running up on people and getting into those really close gunfights like you would maybe in team deathmatch. A lot of times in Warzone, you're kind of, you, you kind of know if you're playing correctly where people are coming from, you know where people are. That way you don't really have to worry about those fast attachments and you can go with things that help you uh, accurate, help your accuracy out, your range out, and of course your control out. So this is a very good class. Like I said, I've been running it for the last few days and really enjoy it. One thing you can do with this, if you really want to make it just a absolute laser at distance, is drop that fully loaded perk and go with this M16 stock. And as you can see, that accuracy goes up even more. But your mobility is going to be very slow. I have tried this out. It does work very well, but like I said, you're just very sluggish kind of feeling. If you do something like this, I would recommend running a sub as your secondary. And then when you need to move, swap to that sub so you can have some movement speed. But like I said, guys, these are just kind of some setups that you might want to try out yourself. Um, they work very well, in my opinion, all four of these, like I said, for multiplayer. And of course, these other two here for Warzone. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, and now they sell gaming desks. So if you would like to check out GT Racing, all their information is down in the description. I'll catch you next time. Peace.